The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. <clears throat> Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. Today we're going to answer the question, can someone who is not named in a will contest it? So we'll talk about who can contest a will, and then we'll discuss some grounds for contesting wills. Let's first talk about who can contest a will. So only people who are considered interested parties have standing to challenge a will. Standing is basically what you need in order to not get your case dismissed. And courts want to see that you're actually impacted by the outcome of the proceedings. So you have to, you have to actually have a stake in the will being held invalid in order to have standing. If you don't have standing, your case will be dismissed. There's three categories of people that generally have standing to contest a will. That's beneficiaries of a prior will, beneficiaries of a subsequent, subsequent will, and intestate heirs. And let's go over what each of these are. So a beneficiary of a will is someone who stands to benefit from it, someone who stands to inherit from it. So beneficiaries of a prior will are people who were named in a, a will prior to the one that's in contest. And if the will that's in contest were to be overturned and held invalid, then the prior will would be would take effect and the beneficiaries of the prior will would, would certainly benefit. Beneficiaries of a subsequent will are basically saying the will in contest has been overridden by this later will. So they can contest the validity of it by saying, well, this will was revoked by a new will being created, a will from which we benefit. Intestate heirs are people who would stand to benefit if there were no will at all. And this is who gets an inheritance if state statute were to control where the person's inheritance were to go. That's what an intestate heir is. When you die without a will, you die intestate. So if this will were to be invalid, the intestate heirs would stand to benefit because state statute would say that they would be the person to inherit. So you have to be really in one of those three categories in order to have standing. And in order to successfully contest a will, even if the will isn't valid, you can't just be a random third party saying it's not invalid or, or file a lawsuit on behalf of someone else. You have to be one of those people with standing in order to contest a will. So let's talk about grounds for contesting a will very briefly. So there are seven major grounds for contesting a will. One is that the will was not properly execu executed according to state law. Uh, second is that the person executing the will lacked the mental capacity to understand what was going on when they executed the will. Third was that they were under physical or financial duress, so someone was threatening them and forcing them to uh, execute the will. Fourth was undue is undue influence. Undue influence means that the person executing the will uh, was influenced by someone that had a position of power over them to benefit that person with power over them. So this can be uh, an attorney, a caretaker. It usually has more of an effect as a, as a way to invalidate a will if the person was kind of feeble-minded at the time and this person was someone they trusted. Fraud. Uh, they executed the will either because they were uh, tricked into thinking it was something else or tricked into thinking something about the will was true or not true when it really wasn't. For example, someone may have told them that their son was dead and he was alive, and so they disinherited the son in the will. That would be an example of fraud. Uh, forgery is pretty obvious. It's where it's just a completely invalid will, period, because it's a fake. And finally, revocation, and that's the situation we talked about earlier where, uh, where they've either later just signed something, formally executed something revoking the will, or they had a later will, and when you have, you can only have one existing will at any given time, so the later will would revoke the prior will. So if any of these are true and you have standing, you can contest a will. And there's two ways to do this. One is to file something called a form, a petition for a formal proof of will hearing, and this is a way, it, it basically requires the executor to call witnesses to prove that the will was executed properly in the first place. And this is basically limited to um, the will being invalid because it wasn't executed properly according to state law. The other way to challenge a will is a petition for a will contest, and you file, you allege what you claim 
uh, to be the invalid, invalidity of the will. What what were the circumstances that make the will invalid? And then ultimately there will be a trial at which you have to prove this, and usually that's done through witness testimony. And we have great articles and videos about the process of filing and pursuing a petition uh, to contest a will. And we also have an article and video about formal proof of will hearing. So for more detail, you can check those out. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below this post at learn-about-law.com or in the comments section below our YouTube video on our YouTube station. If you found this helpful and you want to be informed of the topics that we post every day, we do an article and video every day, you can either subscribe to us on YouTube or iTunes or SoundCloud or subscribe to our uh, email blast on our website, learn-about-law.com. If you need some help, you can give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in most areas of law, and we have offices all around Chicagoland for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.